Michael here, and if you're clicking on this video, chances are you've seen the TV commercials for Consumer Cellular, and you're wondering if it's really worth the savings. Those ads say you can get the same service as the big carriers, but for half the price. I first tested Consumer Cellular back in 2019, but I signed up a couple of years later, more recently, because there have been some big changes with the service. So in our video today, I'm going to lay out all the things you need to know before you sign up. Let's get started. Number one, what is consumer cellular? Consumer cellular is what's referred to in the wireless industry as a mobile virtual network operator, or MVNO for short. Unlike Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile, MVNOs don't own cell phone towers. Instead, they partner with one or more of the major networks to provide coverage. And MVNOs like this one typically offer cheaper plans than the major networks. I'm going to talk more about those plans in just a minute. Consumer Cellular was founded back in October 1995. It currently targets the senior population and has more than 4 million customers. The company was sold to a private equity firm in late 2020. Number two, is the coverage any good? Consumer Cellular has two network partners, AT&T and T-Mobile. Customers get access to one of those networks, not both, and the network is chosen based on your location. Recently, I tested Consumer Cellular using AT&T's network for 30 days. And for my 30-day test, I had no issues with call and text performance, and for data needs, I was able to access 5G speeds using a compatible iPhone 12. I conducted 10 data speed tests using the speed test app, and the average 5G download speed was more than 70 megabits per second. Now that's fast enough to stream video, browse the web, and use apps, no issues whatsoever. So the bottom line is that if you currently have service with either AT&T or T-Mobile, you can expect a similar experience with Consumer Cellular. Have Verizon? I'd look elsewhere. Two of my top budget picks are Visible and US Mobile. Number three, how much does it cost? For my research, the carrier's plans are best for people who don't use a whole lot of data throughout the month. The plan I tested offers unlimited domestic talk, text, and three gigabytes of data, $25 a month. You see the other plans here, and although there is an unlimited data plan option, it's pricey, $55 a month for a single line of service as of this recording. And those prices include a $5 monthly discount for auto pay and e-billing. Taxes and fees are extra. And there are four other things about the billing that you should know. First, the carrier lets you share your plan with up to three people. Add a second line for 20 bucks a month, get additional lines for $15 a month each. And with this option, all lines on the account will share the same bucket of data. Second, if you go over your data limit, you'll automatically be upgraded to a more expensive plan. You should get a usage alert when you're approaching your limit. So although there are no overage penalties, if you are upgraded to another plan, you're gonna have to pay more for that plan, and you'll stay on the upgraded plan unless you choose to downgrade. Third, AARP members get a 5% discount on their monthly service, and the carrier says this will save the average customer 24 bucks a year. In addition, AARP members get an extended 45-day risk-free guarantee. And fourth, this is a postpaid service. That just means the company will send you a bill for the previous month at the end of your billing cycle, the same way that Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile typically handle billing as well. Number four, what phone options are available? Like most carriers, Consumer Cellular lets you bring your own phone or buy a new device. It's up to you. If you want to keep your existing device, you can visit the website and confirm that it's compatible. Your phone must be unlocked and compatible with GSM network technology. Now, if it is compatible, you can order a free SIM card. And once delivered, you'll just put the SIM card into your phone and activate the service. If you prefer to purchase a new device, there are about two dozen Apple and Android phones, even a flip phone, available for sale. Budget and high-end options are here, but most of them are sold at full price. If you're wondering about paying for your new phone, you've got options you can either pay in full or apply for 0% financing that spread over 24 months. A down payment, though, may be required. And whether you bring your own phone like I did or purchase a new one, you should be able to keep your existing phone number if you want to. Number five, how's the customer service? I think we can all agree that good customer service is pretty hard to find these days, but this is one area where this carrier has really gotten a lot of recognition. 
the company consistently ranked number one for customer service among wireless providers in rankings like these from JD Power. Wondering the secret? Well, it's US-based customer service representatives. I tested the carrier's phone and chat support several times during my 30 days with them. Agents were always helpful and answered my questions appropriately. But every time I called, I waited between eight and 15 minutes for a representative to join the call. Now customers can also reach out to support through chat and this may be a quicker way to help during peak times. It definitely was for me. And if you prefer in-person customer support, there is an option for you. Although Consumer Cellular has no retail locations, it partners with Target to offer sales and support. I stopped by my local Target and noticed the signs for Consumer Cellular and a number of other wireless providers. An employee offered to help me choose a plan, but she wasn't pushy at all. Now, many low-cost cell phone service providers offer limited customer support, sometimes not even an 800 number to call. So I really appreciate Consumer Cellular's approach because it's going to really ease fears for people who are hesitant about switching to a cheaper provider. Let's talk pros and cons. First, the pros. Affordable plans for light data users, an AARP discount, and top-ranked customer support. As for the cons, the unlimited plan is pretty expensive, and there are few phone deals. Consumer Cellular does a great job of marketing its service to seniors, but it is not your only option because seniors use their phones just like everyone else. They want to talk, they want to text, and use data. Think about it this way. At the time of this recording, Visible, a Verizon-owned company, offers unlimited talk, text, and data for $25 a month with its party pay feature. And Mint Mobile, a T-Mobile MVNO, offers an unlimited plan that works out to $30 a month. In other words, some carriers offer unlimited data plans for the same price that consumer cellular charges for three gigabytes of data. Ask yourself this, how much more per month are you willing to pay for top-ranked customer support? Because that's really why you may want to choose consumer cellular over some of these other, even cheaper, low-cost cell phone service providers. If you've also tried consumer cellular, let me know your experience down below in the comments. And watch this video next to learn the seven mistakes to avoid when switching cell phone service providers. Thanks for watching.